Today we will learn about malware and its types. Malware, short for malicious software, is a type of software intentionally designed to cause harm to computer systems, networks, or devices. Example. Many people faces a restriction to access their personal file and folders due to a malware attack which typically encrypt their files and then demand a ransom payment to restore access to files. This type of malware is called ransomware. Malware comes in various types. Virus. Worm. Trojan. Ransomware. Spyware. Adware. Rootkit. Virus. A virus is a type of malware that infects and replicates itself by attaching to legitimate files and programs. It spreads by users downloading and executing infected files or opening infected email attachments. Worm. A worm is a type of malware that propagates through networks and systems, often exploiting vulnerabilities in software or operating systems. They can spread rapidly and can cause significant damage to networks and systems. Worms can be installed through various sources, including email attachments, social media messages, and infected websites. Trojan. A Trojan is a type of malware that masquerades as legitimate software, but once installed, it can perform malicious activities like stealing sensitive information or giving attackers access to the system. Trojans are often installed through social engineering tactics like fake software updates, email attachments, or malicious links. Ransomware. Ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts files on a user's system, making them inaccessible until the user pays a ransom. It can be installed through phishing emails, malicious downloads, or through exploiting software vulnerabilities. Spyware. Spyware is a type of malware that secretly collects sensitive data like login credentials, browsing history, and personal information. It can be installed through software downloads, email attachments, or malicious links. Adware. Adware is a type of malware that displays unwanted ads on a user's system. It can be installed through software downloads or by visiting infected websites. Rootkit. A rootkit is a type of malware that is designed to hide its presence on a system by intercepting system calls and modifying system files. Rootkits can be installed through software downloads or by exploiting vulnerabilities in the operating system. We can analyze malware by different methods, such as static analysis, examining the code and structure of the malware without executing it, dynamic analysis, running the malware in a controlled environment to observe its behavior, reverse engineering, decompiling the malware to understand its inner workings. Sandbox analysis, using a virtual environment to run and analyze the malware in isolation. Signature-based detection, using a database of known malware signatures to identify and block threats. Behavioral-based detection, using machine learning and AI to detect unusual behavior that may indicate malware. Now we will see a practical example of dynamic malware analysis using a sandbox environment. Malware can be installed through a variety of sources, including email attachments, social engineering tactics, malicious downloads, infected websites, and exploiting vulnerabilities in software or operating systems. It's essential to be vigilant and take steps to prevent malware infections. Keeping software and systems up to date. Using antivirus and anti-malware software. Avoiding suspicious websites and downloads. Using strong passwords and multi-factor authentication. Backing up important data regularly.